بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the fourth chapter of his book, Surah An-Nisa, verse number 19. فَإِنْ كَرِهْتُمُوهُنَّ فَعَسَىٰ أَنْ تَكْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَيَجْعَلَ اللَّهُ فِيهِ خَيْرًا كَثِيرًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking to us in this verse regarding our spouses, our wives. He says, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that which means, and if you come to dislike them, meaning your wives, if you come to hate them, then keep in mind that perhaps you may dislike something, but Allah will place in it a wealth of good. Now this here brings into question our common knowledge. Most of us, if we were to be asked, what is marriage based on? What, what defines a successful marriage? The first thing to come out of our mouths will invariably be that we have to be in love. We have to love each other. This is not correct. Marriages can be very successful absent of love. And marriages can be very terrible even though the two parties love each other deeply. Rather, when we look at the book of Allah, we see that loving someone or a lack of love for one spouse is still not enough of a reason to seek divorce, dissolving the marriage. Rather, Allah encourages us, in spite of these feelings, that we remain married. Why? Because perhaps we may dislike something, yet Allah will place a wealth of good in it. And so, when we look at the book of Allah and we examine it, and then we ask the question upon very studious inspection, what is the hallmark of a successful marriage, the pillars? One of those pillars is trust. We have to trust each other. If one does not trust his spouse, that marriage is doomed. A person must never do anything that will diminish that trust, that will put that trust in jeopardy because that is absolute chaos for a marriage. Another thing we notice in the book of Allah is that mutual respect is necessary for a marriage to be successful. The two parties must trust each other and the two parties must respect one another mutually. It's a two-way street. The husband must respect the wife as a wife, and she, in turn, respect her husband as a husband. Finally, that we treat each other as we wish to be treated. If we do these three things, we will find that wealth of good that Allah promised us, even if our love fluctuates. And anyone who's been married, and anyone who is honest with himself, will agree that love does fluctuate. Even our love of Allah, even our faith, our Iman, it goes up and down. We as human beings, we are emotional creatures. Some days we love something, other days we hate it. Yet, our mutual respect, our trust, our treatment of others, this is something that should not fluctuate based on our emotion. Wallahu a'lam.